PBS Kids. Hey now, hey well, here's how. Come and read between the lions. Come on. Ulysses the snail. Hi, everyone. <laughs> He's looking for a new place to live. Hi. I've spent me whole life in this shell, and by gum, it's time for something bigger. Oh, well, you are in luck, hmm? because today we just opened the All Different Kinds of Homes Wing. Ooh, yeah. Sounds very promising. Yeah, come hmm. on. This place. Hi, me too. Oh, oh, it's very lively. Uh -huh. Wow. Hey, there's Mama. Oh. Hi, Mama. This is Ulysses. He needs to find a new home. Oh, hi, Ulysses. Hi, lady. Uh, Cleo, you came just to the right place. The home wing has all kinds of books about where people and animals live. Let me show you around. Hmm. Wait for me. This is Bennett the Beaver. Oh, hiya, Bennett. Oh, hello. What you reading? Ten easy steps to spruce up your pond. The waterproof edition. Hi, Cleo! Oh? Well, come on. So you see, Ulysses, a pond is a kind of home. Boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this issue of Better Holes and Gardens. It's so inspiring. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, let's go. Bye, Maxie. Bye-bye. Okay, Farewell, Maxie. See ya. Thanks again. All right, chicks. Get comfy, and I'll read you Bringing Out the Best in Your Nest. Oh, you know, these all sound very interesting, but I don't know if any of them are right for me. Oh, well, hey, let's take a look at this book. You'll see that there are all different kinds of homes. Ooh, Castles, Caves, and Honeycombs by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Lauren Stringer. I think you'll like it. Many places make a home. A heap of twigs. A honeycomb. A castle with a tower or two. An airy with a bird's eye view. A silky web. A sandy dune. A room inside a warm cocoon. A chamber in a snowy mound. A busy town beneath the ground. A silent cave. Warren in a grassy glen. A 
a sloping cliff above the shore. A hole beneath the kitchen floor. A rocky pit. An armor case. A shell that's carried place to place. A hollow space inside a tree. A tidal pool beside the sea. A home's a house. A den. A nest. A place to play. A place to rest. A place to share. A place to hug. Home is someplace safe and snug. The end. <laughs> wow, I had no idea there were so many cool places to live besides the library. Nor I. And now I know exactly what kind of new home I should have. And what's that? A castle. Ooh. I want to live in an enormous castle. I like the one in the book. <laughs> All right. We'll just find you a book about how to build a castle. Oh, grand. I just where to no. find. Oh, it should have plenty of closet space. Oh, and a rec room, and a sauna, oh, and a billiard room. And I'd also like a lap pool. Mm, perhaps some fray weights. I'd like to do some heavy lifting. Oh, looky, looky. A bee. Whoa. Looky, looky. A beehive. Beehive. Oh, ah. Animals live in all sorts of places. Yeah. Let's watch. Oh, hey, oh, where yeah. are you going? Yeah. Careful. Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow. Select video. If you were. If you were a bald eagle, you would begin in a nest. The biggest in the world. It's called an airy and can be the size of a three-story house. But there's no time for bragging if you're always eating. At one month, you'd begin to lose your soft baby feathers until you were a fledgling in full feather. At three months, you'd finally make the leap. You'd dare to wing it and soar. You'd soon become an expert flyer. You'd watch the grown-ups and learn how to catch your own food. At four or five years old, your head and tail feathers would be white. If you were a male eagle, you could stretch your wings to six feet as long as a surfboard. If you were a female eagle, you'd be bigger still. You could stretch your wings to eight feet, almost as long as a ping pong table. With wings like that, you would be a mighty hunter, especially when it came to finding a mate. If you were a bald eagle, you would build a giant nest and have some eaglets too, so that one day, they would be as mighty as you. And now, Joy Lerdo! Please welcome Queen Bee! Thank you, Joy, honey. And may I say I love your hat. Thank you, Queen Bee. I see you brought some friends. Honey, those are my workers. <laughs> they're certainly busy guys. Actually, they're all female. Really? All females? The males, or drones as we call them, stay in the honeycomb and take care of me all day. <laughs> I just adore it. <laughs> Who wouldn't? So you live in a honeycomb made of beeswax, is that right? That's right, Joy. That's where we keep the pollen we collect from flowers, along with the honey we make and the larva. <laughs> That's my eggs. I must say, <laughs> we do love our honeycomb home, honey. <laughs> How many larvae do you have in there? On my last count, it was several thousand little larvae. Several thousand? Oh, yes. And it's about time I get back to them. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Wait, take the workers with you. We'll be right back. Ah, I think one got through. And now, ah. B is ahead, making a beeline for the finish line. Bear is second. Buffalo is next to last. 
bird is lost, but she is flying. What's this? B has spotted a beehive, and she's buzzed right off the track. Bear is following B, probably looking for honey. Coming down the stretch, whoa, bird has landed on Buffalo's horn. She's getting a free ride, and it's bird by a wing. If you were... If you lived in a shell, you might be a snail, a turtle, a conch, or a spider crab. If you were a spider crab, you'd try hard to hide yourself. You'd live in seagrass on the edge of the ocean. You'd squeeze in among the rocks. You'd travel at night under the cover of darkness. And you'd be a master of disguise. Your shell would have prickly hairs you could stick things to, like seaweed and sponges, anything to keep you hidden. When you outgrew your shell and grew a bigger one, you'd cover up again. But what puts you in such a hiding mood? Seagulls, of course. You're his favorite food. If he decides to swoop and grab you, hide, because that's what spider crabs do. It's time for short story time with... What's that sound? Is that my tummy rumbling? Or is it a book about eating? Termite Eats, written and illustrated by Kathy Capel. <laughs> Termite eats Ladybug's house. Ladybug gets a new house. Termite eats Mouse's house. Mouse! Gets a new house. Termite eats dog's house. Dog gets a new house. Termite eats ostrich's house. Termite gets a new house. The end. Oh, Artie Spotted Pants has a new house too. A gingerbread house. Oh, yeah. Um. It's amazing. Oh. And I can't believe that little snail built it in only six minutes. I know. Oh. But but where is he? Oh, under here. Oh. Huh? Oh. oh. Do you like it? Oh, oh I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Although, it is a tad heavy. Oh, <laughs> you're wearing the castle on your back? Oh, why, Leona. We snails wear our homes on our backs. Oh. We'll all be off then. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Oh. A snail's home is his castle. <laughs> this is your announcer, Bunny, saying some people don't live in their hats. Strange but true. Houses are next. My house. Goodbye, Lionel. Bye, Mom. Keep in touch. I will, Mom. Hey, where is Lionel going? I am all grown up now, and I am moving into my clubhouse. What? He hmm? can't do that. Can he do that? Ooh, tell her. Sure, why not? No problem. Mm -hmm. Well, all you have in there is a table and a chair. That is all I need. Well, you're not going to sleep in there, are you? You don't have a bed in there. I don't need a bed. I will sleep on the floor. Or on the table. Hmm. <laughs> um, uh, you're, you're probably oh. wondering what I'm going to do for food, huh? Start wondering. Start wondering. Well, yes, we were wondering. Yeah, I was wondering that as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live off of these. Weedy meat treats. Try some today. Well, I guess this is goodbye, son. Bye, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Dad? Hmm? Be strong. Um, we'll try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But, <laughs> but how can Lionel live in his clubhouse? Well, oh. people live in all sorts of different places. Mm -hmm. oh, I just saw a new video about homes. Come oh. on, let's check it out. Okay. <laughs> it's called My House. Welcome to the planet Earth. Glad you found your way here. We got a lot of real cool cribs. If you want to stay here. Welcome to my little house. Sitting in the clover. Or maybe it's a brownstone, baby. Won't you come on over? My house is my And now, time to live the life of a grown-up lion for Mr. Lionel. Yeah. So, uh, what to do now? Oh, I think I'll take a nap on the table. Yeah, grown-ups are always getting tired for some reason. So I'll take a little nap. Yeah! Ow. Table's a little hard. But, um, hmm. I'll go get a pillow. Ah. Fluffy pillow, favorite fluffy pillow. Okay, put it up there. Yes, there we go. Fluff, 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 fluff. And, yeah. ah, much nicer, much softer, but uh, ooh, it's a little chilly. I mean, um, tough, but I don't want to catch a cold. I'll go get a blanket. And a glass of water. Hello, everybody. Please welcome my guest, Theo Lyons. Hey there. What's coming up on Between the Lions? Well, let's see, Joy. Oh, we've got even more about houses. Oh, and Cliffhanger sells his house. Oh. It's magic time with the great Martini. And now, please welcome the outstanding and remarkable Sparmy Marmy Spartini! Oh, Sonny Boy, great Spartini! Get it out! <laughs> okay! And now I, the great Spartini, will do my trouser defying! Two words into one trick! Watch out, Siegfried and Roy! <laughs> I will now get the two words. Whoosh. Boat. Boat. And Whoosh. house. 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 <laughs> I will now put the two words into my smart pants. Boat. Whoa. And house. house. Hmm. Say a magic word. Albracadabra. 
and do a magic dance. Ooh, ah. Dancing smart to pants. Ooh, ah. Well, let's see what we got. A house ball! Hey! Thank you, thank you! Hey! Sunny boy! Great star TV! You really float my boat! Oh, thank you, Mommy! Pig and her house. Pig is in front of her house. Pig is behind her house. Pig is next to her house. Pig is far away from her house. Pig is on top of her house. Pig is under her house. The end. Cliff Hanger, hanging from a cliff. And that's why he's called Cliff Hanger. Excuse me. Excuse me. Today's adventure, episode one million. Cliffhanger sells his house. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff sees a man waving to him from the top of the cliff. Good day, sir. I'm here to help you sell your house. Sell my house? Yes, and when somebody buys it, my crew will move it to any place they choose. And if I stay in my house while it's moved, will I get moved too? Why, sure, I guess so. Mister, you've got a deal. All right, I'll be back in a jiff with my customers. Wait, I don't have a house. I'd better consult my trusty survival manual. If somebody offers to move your house off your cliff, but you don't have a house, build one fast! Okay, who wants to make the first offer on this lovely cliffside home? I'll offer $100,000, and I'd like it moved to Paris, France. Not bad. I'll offer $200,000, and I'd like it moved to Honolulu, Hawaii. Even better! I'll offer one million dollars. Sold! And where would you like your new house moved? Nowhere! It's hideous! I'm buying it on the condition you tear it down so I don't have to look at it ever again! Consider it done. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Can't hold on much longer! Doghouse Near Far Outside Inside Above, below. It's time for short story time with Monkey Spongebob. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my feet. Oh, no! oh where's the book? Uh, oh, there it is. Oof. Beeper paints. Written by Carol Lexa Schaefer, illustrated by Julie Lacombe. Yeah. Beeper paints stardust windows. Beeper paints a stardust wall. Beeper paints a stardust roof. Ah. Beeper paints a stardust chimney. Beeper. Paints a stardust door. Beeper paints a stardust doorknob. Beeper goes inside. Beep, beep. I'm home. The end. Wow. Beeper has a nice house and a great beeper. It's short story time. Yeah. 
Looking good, Cliff. <laughs> so, what do you think of the clubhouse now, huh? Much more livable. Got my hammock. Ugh. Got my pillow. Got my toys. Got the refrigerator. Yep, everything a cub needs for a living on his own. But, um, something, something's still missing. Huh? Mom, Dad, Leona! Oh, is everything oh. all right, Lionel? Oh my goodness, everything okay, son? Oh what? yeah, what? yeah, what? fine, what? things could not be better. Oh, I can see that. Hmm. Except I realize I'm missing three things. Oh, what's that, son? Hmm. Well, um, you guys. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that's so oh, What a good guy. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Lionel, did, did you move a refrigerator in here? Uh. <laughs> Family hug! Family hug! Yeah, Come here, uh, big guy! Oh, oh, Come here! Oh, I'm oh, 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 o